Hey up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. My name is Josh and in today's video we are going to be unwrapping the M140i. This is something you guys have asked for for quite a long time. I know you guys don't particularly like the wrap that I put onto my car but as I've already discussed it was something that I did at the beginning of lockdown just to keep myself busy. It did keep me busy for three or four days, it made the car look unique but today we're going to be taking that wrap off. I already made a start on it yesterday however mother nature decided it wanted to rain so I didn't get a huge chance to get all of it done. So the wings have been taken off, the bumper's been sort of cleaned up as well and also the roof so there's no wrap on any of them pieces today. I'm going to be putting this GoPro on my head so you guys can see how satisfying it is to remove wrap on a car. All you essentially need to do is heat up the vinyl, get your nail around an edge of the vinyl and start pulling it off fairly slowly. Um, from what I've already done already, there is a little bit of adhesive left behind, but I've got some goo gone somewhere in the garage just to get rid of that. And then towards the back end of the video, I will be giving the car a wash just to make sure everything as is. I'll be giving it a look over to make sure no lack has come off. I don't expect there to be, but I thought it would be worth double checking just towards the back end of the video anyway. As you guys know, the car is going into Ultimate Customs towards the back end of the year just to get something different done. So I need to make sure it's perfect, ready for it to go over to them. If you are new here, then thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like this sort of content, then like the video, subscribe to the channel. It does help me massively, but let's get straight into it. That's a rather nice, loud, cold start. And now we've got to thread the needle to get the car where we need it to be. So we're going to be doing the bonnet first and foremost. It's an easier place to film. And also it's one of the larger areas as well before I move on to the sides. We've got the car just where we need it to be. Up this little bit of a ramp here. And then stop. And now we can start removing this vinyl on the car. Okay guys, so the car is up here. As you can see the front bumper for the vast majority has been done barring these two pieces here. The wings have also been done over here and also the roof has been done as well. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but if you have a look on here, there's a line where the adhesive is. So I've actually got some goo gone somewhere in the garage, here it is. So this stuff is supposed to be the bee's knees and get an adhesive off of cars or adhesive off of anything. So whether you're taking your badges off, you know, whether you're replacing, you know, your, your sort of number plate, like I've got a short number plate here, but underneath there, it's all stuck on. Um, of course, when that's gonna come off, the adhesive is gonna be there. So this is good stuff to get it off. So the whole plan is to actually take all of the vinyl off, all of the vinyl off of the car, give it a quick spritz down with the pressure washer, which is just over here then go over it with goo gone just to make sure all the adhesive is gone and then wash it again and protect it with auto bright sprints which is somewhere over here i can't quite see it um, might be behind there somewhere um, essentially just to protect the car and give it some beading and things like that i'm quite excited to see what the car will look like with the new wheels on there um, the old wheels are just in these boxes here but what I'll do, I'll put the GoPro on my head, I'll give you a quick demonstration before I actually turn this on, because when I turn this on, you guys are not going to be able to hear anything. Um, and then I'll do it into a time lapse, I'll speed up the video or something, just so you guys can see just how satisfying taking this wrap off is going to be. So a quick demonstration on how to remove this vinyl. Of course, this heat gun is cold and it's off as well. But what you're wanting to do is just heat up one of these edges, be it there, here, down here, wherever, and then slowly peel it away. You will need to get your nail under there just so you can get a bit of grip on there. Um, and then just heat the rest of it until it comes off. Now, you have to be careful with this, not putting it down on somewhere, especially if you have just used it. Definitely don't put it onto your leg. I did that by accident yesterday and it hurt very, very much. So without further ado, I'm gonna start getting these pieces off of the bonnet and then we'll see what it looks like once it's all off. Thank you. 
go. So as you can see there, there is a line of wear that used to be. That's not scratches, that's just adhesive from the vinyl. Um, we're just going to carry on, see how much we can get done in a short amount of time. And then I'll come back to you guys once the bonnet has been done to have a look, see what it actually looks like. Don't mind the messy hair, of course, we had the GoPro head mount on, so it's messed my hair up to no end. But I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look at the car without the vinyl on. Um, I'll show you a bit where I did a little bit of Goo Gone. I'm not gonna do it all yet until I'm ready to wash it, because the process with Goo Gone is to basically soak the adhesive, leave it for three minutes, wipe it off with a microfiber or a towel or something, and then wash it with hot soapy water. So I'm just gonna mix the goo gone and then the washing with the car just to make sure that there's going to be no issues with the paintwork but let's go have a look to see what the car looks like so guys as you can see the whole of the bonnet has been done you may be able to see some of the marks not marks this is adhesive by the way from the vinyl on there there was a particular point here where i did do some goo gong so there's a line here that goes along and it stops there so the vinyl went sort of around there so it's done a good job in doing that and then of course the roof has also been done as well as well as this sort of pillar thing over here and then also the back of the car has been done so i did have some m140i badges there but they were over the top of the vinyl so they've had to come off i'm undecided to what to do with them yet um, but the car is getting back to normality slowly but surely so there you have it the car is getting back to its mineral gray original paintwork so what i'm not going to do is just time lapse every single part of me taking the wrap off of course you've seen me do the bonnet um, i may do a couple of bits on the sides as well because that's all that's left to do now so all we have to do is the wings are already done 
the side so the driver's door the driver's sill at the bottom and then the back of the car as well um, and then that should be it really so it won't be too long until the car is completely free of vinyl and then I'm going to get everything sorted so if you have a look here I'm going to do a normal two bucket method with the auto bright purple shampoo or the banana shampoo which is just here um, make sure well that wasn't supposed to happen um, make sure that all of the adhesive is off and then as I said earlier we're going to use some sprints which I still can't find by the way so a little bit of an update the vinyl has been completely removed I managed to get it done in fairly good time to be fair so from starting the vinyl today to actually getting it all off only took around probably an hour or something like that which is less than what I expected I've got a bit of a job now to go around the whole of the car with the goo gone just basically use my finger going over the lines, breaking down the adhesive, and then what I'll do beforehand is I'll get the buckets out, I'll get the, the sort of washing stuff ready, um, so straight afterwards after that, give the car a bit of a contact wash, get the car looking nice and sparkly, and then I'll come back to you guys at the end, we can have a look at the car without the wrap on, and also with the new wheels, which based on what I've seen already, albeit dirty, look quite good. Okay guys, so the car has been done. I'm taking a quick sit down, so I've been at this for six hours now, so I started it at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's currently 4 o'clock. So the last time I spoke to you guys, we'd taken all of the vinyl off. All that was left was the adhesive, essentially, outlines of the vinyl. So what we'd plan to do is to go around it with the goo gone and then give it a wash and then it should have been okay. However, the car was pretty dirty and it didn't feel great sort of rubbing in and rubbing in basically dirt into the paintwork because then you'll get swirl marks, you'll get scratches and all that sort of stuff that I didn't want on the paintwork which I'm just revealing at the moment. So what I ended up doing is giving it a wash first, making sure it was dry afterwards, then going around it with the goo gone and then Mother Nature uh, decided to let the heavens open and rain kept coming down so that sort of put a bit of a kibosh on that. So sat inside for a little bit, had a coffee, had a chill out, had something to eat, waited until the rain had passed, went back outside, went round with the goo gone. Now after washing it I thought that hot water and washing so essentially I had the banana gloss shampoo from Auto Bright with some hot water and obviously a wash mitt and um, it did get quite a bit of it off but there was still some left behind so I had to sort of follow myself around with the goo gone which took quite a long time because you're essentially doing it with one finger just like that all the way around the car so that's all being done now after that because I didn't want the goo gone to sit on the paintwork because I didn't know if it was acidic, if it was strong or, or whatever, um, all it says in the, the sort of usual instructions is not to leave it on paintwork or surfaces or anything like that until you've washed it off with warm water. So I went back and washed the car again, so that's the second time that I've washed the car, and then I've just gone round, applied all the Auto Bright sprints just to give it a bit of protection, and then cleaned the glass and just got it looking nice and shiny. So we'll take a look outside now of what the car looks like. Um, it's a bit different, it looks a bit weird because I've been used to having the camo on the car. Um, it's growing on me a little bit, I really like how the wheels look with the mineral grey print work. And I'm yet to decide what I'm doing with the car moving forward. So I'll be having a chat with Ultimate Customs over the next couple of weeks as to what we can do with the car. But let's go have a look at the car, see what it actually looks like. So here we are, here is the mineral grey M140i with no camo wrap on it whatsoever. So. We have got a bit of gloss here at the front. There are still some little areas where there's tiny bits of adhesive marks, but I'll get them off in due course. I just wanted to get this video finished up and to get the car looking kind of nice. So the wheels are a little bit cleaner than what they were. Um, you know, they do still have some dirt on them. I haven't given them a proper clean, but good enough to see what they look like with the mineral gray. This vinyl here is staying until they decide what I want to do with it. I was tempted to get Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter there, so the logos, just so people have something to go and look at if they see the car. But it looks kind of nice, to be fair. I'm really nice with how it's come out. I say that as if it's something different that I've done. Essentially, I've just brought it back to what it was when it was stock, but it looks nice. So you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you prefer the car without the wrap? Do you prefer it with the wrap? And if I were to go get another part wrap in the future, what would your ideas be? What would you do to a mineral grey car if you were doing a part wrap? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and until next time, I'll catch you then. Mm -hmm.